Oh, we can grab that ledge, but not the one that, you know, I died on. Do your, uh, stuff. Do your, uh, stuff. So we still got the spin attack, too. So we spin with circle now. Hello, hello, everyone. Quick question uh, before we get started started. How do you guys feel about that view there? Now, obviously, like, I'd put something in the long run in the top there. But how do you feel about having, like, the the game, you know, basically like how we do the PS2 stuff, the 4x3 games. How do you feel about having it laid out like that, you know, with the 16x9 kind of having the smaller window? Do you guys like that or do you like the other one more? With this one, I like that we can still have all of the stuff on the side like we normally do, you know, over there. But it also, you can't see the, the game quite as much. Um, so I'm just, I'm just curious how you guys feel about it, you know? I'm down for either one. Like I said, what I would do if in the, the long term, excuse me, is add something else to the top. Maybe, I don't know, my name, a, a goal of some sort or something. I don't know, man. Put something else up there, obviously. But I want to get you guys' feedback on it. Are you okay with this? Does it look okay? Thumbs up, thumbs down. How do you guys feel? You bought a new pawn in five grown lands last stream to prep for today? I know. They're still on my list over here. I haven't forgot about them. We just got to wait for another pawn to show up so you can have them. I think for now, I'm going to go ahead and leave it like this. And then if it ends up being a problem or whatever, we can change it. I just kind of like everything being, you know, more similar, I guess. Uh, but I don't know. I don't know, man. The entire crew lived. Hell yeah, guys. That's what I'm talking about. Anyways, uh, we might as well go ahead and get started. L got the ground breaker trait. The time L spent fighting the deadly illness was enough time for self-reflection as she, as she has developed the groundbreaker trait. L strongly believes infrastructures rule all and is a natural born stone worker. Ah, good for you, man. That's nice, L. Um, so, <laughs> yeah, last stream, for anybody who, who may have missed it, um, Nate died. <laughs> he was here. He's not here no more. He's now dead. Mr. Noodle probably is a little, uh, a little torn about it, I'm assuming. Actually, no. They don't <laughs> seem to care at all. What? Why is there... Oh, wait, needs. I was in the wrong tab. My friend died. My wife died. Yeah. Hungry. It's dark. Everything sucks. It's cold. Chocobo's running around naked. Why are you naked, Chocobo? You're cold. You have frostbite on your left middle toe. Why aren't you... What are you... What? What? <laughs> uh... Why did you... Why did you bring stuff over here and then just throw it in the garden? Maybe they're a nudist? I'm fairly certain they're not. Uh... Need bio. Martial artist, gourmand, jogger, slow learner... Chemical interest. No, nothing about <laughs> nothing about being a nudist, man. Oh, that's right. Tom's living with with Chocobo for the time being. Um, there's more clothes. Did uh, did I uh, did I screw something up? Hold on. I think I might have screwed something up. Hey, Addy. Because uh, people should be wearing yeah anything. Anything with at least sixty health points. And these have these have a lot more than that. Why <laughs> is he naked? <laughs> exactly. Why do we have all of these good clothes just laying around? Okay. Well then. Frostbite, frostbite, frostbite. Shit ton of frostbite. Surprisingly, you aren't freezing to death right now. It's kind of surprising, honestly. It's a, it's a solid 24 degrees out. Like, <laughs> one buddy bought me a 24 pack of Bang at Sam's Club. It's a lot of Bang, dude. 
I need to turn down my headphones a little bit. There we go. Um, okay, so our first priority right now really just needs to be getting people campfires. So we're not going to put any more um, building stuff up until that happens. Because people, people were dying. <laughs> well, one person died. And other people are very cold. So, obviously, we need to uh, get things warmed up a little bit, man. Inside the, the homes. Al, you still, you still doing okay? You seem to be doing okay. You developed immunity, so you're not going to die, at least. Chocobo has minor hypothermia and no clothes. I'm very confused, man. Chocobo did some gabbing. Crumpled? What does that mean? Yeah, that tracks. <laughs> it's just like there's clothes right here, dude. You literally brought him over here and sat him down. I mean, that's awful quality, but still. That's normal. Has 69%. Like, I don't have the stuff set backwards anymore, right? We did... Everybody's set to being able to wear anything. Do we just need to, like... Swap it a little bit? What if we do, like... I don't know. Allow all inequality between 55 and 100 hit points. That's what you wear. I'm very confused. I don't know. I'm sure it'll be fine. <laughs> Just don't freeze to death, bud. We don't we don't need any more of that going on. Uh, we have some cargo pods drop. That's awesome with some clothes. Uh, <laughs> I mean, that might be helpful, but I'm not really sure if our people are going to use them or not. So we'll see what happens with that. For now, though, let's just get through the night and see what happens in the morning, shall we? Carl. Oh, I kind of forgot about that. The, the dog lives over here now. Hunter lacks weapon. Chocobo's a hunter, and they don't have a weapon. I'm assuming you went through a break at some point, and that's why your weapon is gone. Uh, You could have... Nate's... Oh, never mind. You can have the double-barreled shotgun, actually. That should be pretty nice for hunting. I mean, you gotta get, like, right up on things to use it while hunting, but you can, uh... But it just, like, shreds through things, man. It's really good for that. Nah, I don't think I have the points for that, Nate. You done took them all, man. Okay, well, I guess I do have the points for that. Ah, screw it. One more time. There we go. <laughs> Someone's got to take your points from you. Why not? All right. What else have we been doing? Let's see. So we were also working on kind of getting that situated. Oh, yes. And then trying to build Tom a home down here. It's been a new... It's been a week. So I just kind of got to get refreshed on what's going on with everything. Um... Go ahead and get those clothes and things taken inside. There's so many of them, man. These look like nice clothes, too, and they're not even, like... Doesn't even say anything about them being unusable. Well, Chocobo's wearing some clothes now, at least. Also seems to be stealing food from Mr. Noodle's house, so... <laughs> That's fine, I guess. Why not? Mr. Noodle, you have a major break risk. Probably because people have died. Wait, what? Oh, we're on L right now. I was like, hold on. Our cult doesn't doesn't want slaves. Inspiration not satisfied. Yeah, that kind of sucks. Slept in the cold. You are cold. And then your friend and wife died. Well, yeah, that's that's kind of rough, honestly. I have a naked man stealing food from my house. <laughs> well, not anymore. He put some clothes on. Now he's just playing chess <laughs> while you take a nap. It's perfectly fine. 
<laughs> oh, L doesn't have a weapon. Who's got a better shooting skill? You're 2.12. Tom has 8.43. So why don't we get Tom to equip the revolver? And then L, you can have the bow whenever uh whenever we get one. So what are you working on right now? Just putting on some flak pants. I mean, that makes sense, honestly. Um, oh, there is one thing that we're probably going to need to do. I believe Nate was our main constructor, right? Yeah, so Chocobo is our only real constructor right now, which would be fine, except for the fact that he's also the main cook. So he's going to spend a lot of his time cooking. Of course, right now we don't have like a general restaurant open, so most people just cook for themselves. Uh, we should probably go ahead and get a second constructor, though. Which it looks like, Mr. Noodle, you're the second best with a skill of three. That's not great. I'll tell you what. For now, let's go ahead and get everyone on on that as, like, a low-priority thing. Like, higher than, you know, other stuff, but... But, yeah. So that we can get, you know, get the fires built course i guess like the main thing with fires people could build them for themselves if they just had wood in their thing so maybe actually instead of increasing construction for everyone what we should do is just well, we already have plant cut enabled for everyone hauling let's increase hauling for everyone up to a two do that before you do like your your secondary tasks Except for Mr. Noodle, because you're doing managing. Yeah. Although, no, you're going to be forced to do managing because of the way we have things laid out. Hope Rue's good. Me too. Haven't seen them in like two streams now, I think. Yeah, it has been a little while, huh? I mean, they've been active in the Discord at least, so I assume they're just tired or something. What happens if you redeem Grow Land right now? Uh... Not a lot. <laughs> if you have a pawn, you can use the grow land to increase the size of your home. So, like, this was Nate's home before, and he redeemed that a few times. That's why his is so much larger than, say, this one down here, which is empty. I mean, not empty, but, you know, just this little tiny plot of land. Oh, good. We got <laughs> we got a little bit of wood, and Chocobo's stealing it to build a Christmas tree. Or the rooty, if you will. <laughs> But you know, have a pawn? Yeah. That's why I said not a whole lot right now. You would probably want to buy a pawn first before you uh, do anything else. Hell, how you doing, bud? No, you're going to be fine. Just taking some rest. It's understandable. Let's follow Chocobo for a little bit. Chocobo seems to be a uh, interesting character. <laughs> oh, yeah. He's trying to get that, that grown there. What's our wood situation like? as a whole get a pawn wait what <laughs> uh so wait do you want a second one chocobo oh okay okay <laughs> that works <laughs> i was like do you want a second one or how does that work but uh okay yeah we'll get you one man so nate redeemed his first so the next pawn that comes in is his but then the one after that will be for you i just had to remember that that it's technically for you not for Chocobo. I'm just waiting for Chocobo to, like, be the next one to die now. Right, I'm going to manually flag some things to be cut, I think. Because I feel like we just don't have enough wood right now, man. And there's so many trees around here. Like, chop down some of this shit, dude. We need we need trees. Well, we need wood, really. <laughs> we don't, don't necessarily need the trees themselves. L is in a very poor mood. L is in a worse mood than the noodle is, and noodle's wife just died. Like, yeah, you gotta wait for someone to join, man. You died. <laughs> if you weren't dead, it wouldn't be a problem. But you Gonzo boy, Chocobo's getting this Christmas tree built or trying to. What are you doing? Moving? No. Oh shit! It's bedtime. Or, well, home time in general. Uh, 
Uh, Mr. Noodle, how much wood do you need to build this? 20? You should probably build... Your campfire first. So that you don't, like, die of hypothermia. What? Why are you planting stuff? Not assigned to constructing. Excuse me? You should be assigned to everything right now. Oh. No, you're not for some reason. Well, hold on. We can fix that. There we go. Alright, Noodle, no. Construct your damn campfire, dude. There you go. Now you won't freeze to death inside your own home like your <laughs> like your wife did, dude. <laughs> can you not cook or did we not set this up right? No, you can cook. You're just choosing not to. Well, that's fine then. If you would rather eat raw potatoes than freaking real food, then I guess more power to you. Holy shit, Noodle, you're like out of hutu. Probably because people have been stealing your food for some reason. Everyone's a bit low on it, to be honest. Let's get those chunks out of your, your storage room there, Chocobo. And this one, get it? It's like right in front of your house, dude. Just get it away from there. I'm hoping once the Christmas tree gets built, one of our rituals gives us a random chance for, for someone to join. So I'm hoping once uh, we have the chance to do that, we'll get, like, more people. Stop stealing from the mayor. No, you see, you're because you're the mayor, you're sharing with everyone, right? Okay, yeah, put on some proper clothes. Oh, which reminds me, you don't have a weapon. We were going to give you... The short bow. So everyone has a ranged weapon at least. Long Christmas tree. There it is. Okay, so begin the room. As a party around a Christmas tree, participants will gather around a Christmas tree and make merry. The ritual target will be destroyed. If it's fun or unforgettable, you gain goodwill from the nearest action. Oh, so not as not as nice as I was hoping. But I mean we might as well go ahead and do it. Let's 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 have our first Christmas party, everyone. Aw, oh, look how fancy. I've never I've never quite had a Christmas like this with <laughs> with everything glowing and, and little symbol it's <laughs> popping up. Hey, we got some bonus mood. Hell yeah, dude. We definitely need that right now. Oh yeah, that's right. We don't require people to stay at home quite as long anymore. Only until 6 in the morning. But... Something like that. So then I think if I just like... Do something like this... I think it'll reset it. To the proper values for like... Yeah, yeah, it is. Good, 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 good. Okay. Because we had, we had some problems with... Like, I felt like people didn't have enough free time to do whatever they needed to do. I wish there was a little bit better way to do this. I guess we could at least follow a pawn while we're messing around with stuff. See what Mr. Noodle's doing. Cooking themselves some food. There we go. Hydrate? Okay. I will gladly take a drink. Probably should anyways. With as much Pepto and uh, and fiber bars as I've been eating, it's probably a good thing to <laughs> stay hydrated. Get some water in there to go with all that. Posture check. Dude, my posture is always fantastic, but I'll sit up. Got to adjust my mic a little bit. There you go. Sitting up straight now, you happy? Okay, almost done. Gotta adjust the last few. Not that these ones really matter, since we don't have, like, children or school. We almost had a child in the colony, and then uh, we accidentally, you know, <laughs> kind of 
murdered someone. It's fine. Everything's fine. <laughs> Mr. Noodle doing what Mr. Noodle does best, sleeping in. Alright, so I think everyone has some wood. Everyone has... I guess Chocobo doesn't have any wood yet in their stockpile. Okay, let's set a uh, a tree cutting job up here as well, just to make sure everyone has some wood. And then after that, we might be good to go ahead and make the other house. Because like, yeah. Couldn't find my water. What's everyone doing? Mr. Noodle, you finally doing something? You're doing some research. That's right. What do we have on the queue for research? We were learning how to dry meat because we don't have refrigeration because we're a primitive society. That's right. Yeah, there's a there's a huge group of uh, possible people. I mean, I don't know if you've ever seen the world map for this game. But it's... Uh, it's very, very large. So, like, and there's a lot of other other people. Like, all these little symbols are, are people and other little colonies and things like that. And technically, you can go and visit them, but uh, it's usually not worth it. Although, that is an idea I have for another for another uh, play. Is, is maybe doing one where we focus more on... like traveling being nomads or something like that because i've never done that either All right i'm i'm trying to do things that are a little bit odd instead of the usual stuff because uh, i've played rim world many many times but i've always done it you know the the quote unquote right way with with one centralized colony everyone kind of living in and basically like a large facility together almost I think it. I think it's it's fun to to mess around with something a little bit different. I was finally getting some food. How's our managing going? Everything being managed okay? Yes. Good. Good. I think we need to increase our wood target. Three hundred thirty plus zero. Roaming monstrosities. Okay. <laughs> Water is good. Water is good. Oh, okay, yeah. So there, there's a bunch flagged to be done. Um, so we, we should be good there. Some escape genetically modified monstrosities. Yes. What do we got today? Avian Paragon Rooster. I mean... I don't know. That just kind of looks like a regular rooster to me. I don't, <laughs> I don't see the problem here. All right, everyone. Battle formations. Let's go. Berry bush has died from rotting. How is it dying from rotting? It's like three degrees outside, dude. Oh, it's probably in someone's house. Duh. Come on. Kill the rooster. Someone, someone shoot the damn rooster. Please. There we go. Chocobo with the freaking shotgun. Took it right out, dude. So I'm saying that uh, shotgun, honestly, is, is awesome. For, for killing, like, unarmored things. Oh, I need to grab my notebook so that I can remember all the stuff that we were trying to do. Imagine the rooster killed everyone. I've had things like that happen before. It's definitely possible, man. Okay, so we're working on the, the hospital. We have that mostly complete now. Our next goal was to get an in slash restaurant style place set up. So that we have somewhere for like when colonists don't have food in their own place, they can they can go and get it. Plus, it's possible for us to uh, host guests that can buy food and things from us as well. So I'm thinking maybe right here, like in the quote unquote center of town would be a good place for it. Uh, before we do that, though, we should probably go ahead and allow this other home to be built. That way Tom doesn't have to mooch off of Chocobo anymore. Oh, uh, we're also definitely going to need a campfire in here, because uh, 
we discovered the hard way. That, uh, yeah, you can die <laughs> pretty easily from the cold, man. Mr. Noodle reached level 8 in plants. Dude, Mr. Noodle, you're just going to end up being a farmer. I don't know what all this talk of uh, being a mayor is about, but farming is obviously where your true passions lie, man. We actually have a little bit of wood in our own stockpile. That's amazing. Oh, okay, we're getting raided. Good. Uh, they're attacking immediately. Just one dude with a knife. So we'll probably be fine. Everyone get down here. Deal with this dude. You had a turkey almost get you in a minor car accident today? What the hell, dude? Oh, the other day? Gotta watch out for them turkeys, man. They're vicious. <laughs> Somebody take him down. Now, technically... This is supposed to be a room for the... Oh, never mind. <laughs> I was going to say for the new guy. But if he hadn't died, Mr. Uh, Gundozer, we could have made him the new Nate. But never mind, I suppose. He's dead. All right, everyone. Back to your homes. Get some rest. Might as well go ahead and start laying out the, the inn area. Uh... The only problem with having it here, like, I, I want everything, I kind of wish this road was straight, right? Like, just straight through the middle of the map or something. It would make laying things out so much easier. Because right now, it's all, like, a diagonal, so it's really weird laying anything out. Let's get this moved somewhere. Um, I guess out in front of the mayor's house. That makes sense, right? Just because I think this is a good spot for the inn slash restaurant area. So we're going to put it there, but we got to get that out of the way first. Fast forward through the nighttime. You're on your way to work. You may have allegedly been going around 65 and there's a turkey in your lane as you're going around the curve. Dude. <laughs> you gotta be careful of them turkeys, man. They'll come out of nowhere. They'll get you. Do we have these all linked properly? All the bathrooms? We don't. That's probably one of the reasons why we have random people coming in here is to... To use the bathroom. We don't have any public bathrooms right now, but that's fine. Uh, group of travelers from South Court are passing by. Well, that's fine. Not the bed. The bath. Can we link to more than one bed? No, it can only be linked to one. Um, so I guess this one for now is going to have to be public because Tom's going to need somewhere to go until his... Uh, Till his own's done. Inspired cooking Tom. I don't even think Tom really cooks. But. Oh well I guess. <laughs> At least he can if he wants to. Damn it. I think maybe. I think maybe we're going to have to. Increase the number of meals people make. For themselves. Just because it seems like they're running out awfully quickly. It wouldn't be so bad if it weren't for the fact that people seem to be stealing meals from other people. But there's nothing we can really do about that. Because I the locked door mod that I was hoping to use seems to have some, some issues, sadly. Someone flashed you before you made the turn. Otherwise, you might have had an extra leg. <laughs> oh, man. Alright, you lazy bums. Get up. Colony needs some work done. Chocobo's got all kinds of wood over here, dude. This is all your smoke leaf that you're growing. It's got a butcher spot. Is this a crafting spot? Good, good, good. See, he has that chemical fascination. Uh, we really don't have much in the way of money or anything right now, but we might as well go ahead and talk to the exotic goods trader. There may be something that we can that we can sell or buy. We could sell our dog. We're not going to do that, though. Um, and that's it. <laughs> that and components, but we're not going to sell our components. We're going to need that for the future. Uh, we do have some money, though. Pumpkin spice coffee. I feel like that's not the most important thing right now. 
digestible resurrector nanites, an extremely high-tech glitter world concoction, unsafe to drink directly due to the bitter taste and a mild case of intraventricular hemorrhaging. <laughs> However, when cooked properly into food, these effects inexplicably seem nullified. Any pawns with this present upon death immediately revived as if by miracle? That's pretty sick, dude. Blueprint on healing. Side trainers, a new heart. <laughs> a hauler base station. Oh, dude, I wish we could afford that, but 5,000 and 12, we're not even close. So this is a, a robot, basically, that does work for us, which, again, would be extremely useful, but yeah, no way we can afford that. So we need a new roll. Oh, that's right. We don't have we don't have the hat. You'll be very unhappy. We can't make fezes here, can we? Where is? It must be here. Yeah, make hood. Blah 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 blah. Yeah, I don't think. Yeah, fezes aren't available there. So we're gonna need some sort of tailoring workbench or something. So we're gonna have to get a clothing person. If the if the cult religion whatever the hell you want to call it doesn't just die off. There's a possibility. We only have two people with it, two people without it now. So, uh, there's definitely the chance that it just goes away. Like, <laughs> the cult could die, man. The colony will live on, but the cult may die. New quest of Gum Avail was called Hosting an Ally. Choco Hair, Divine Chief of King League of Albio. Alboio? Request no favor. His friend Blue Hippopotamus is interested in learning about other cultures. She wants you to host her at Rueville for 12 days. A crafting skill trainer, a bunch of uranium, deadlift joints for 12 days. But we'd need another room for them. And they're not permanent. They would leave after the 12 days. So I think we're gonna have to. I think we're gonna have to pass for now. Okay, your bed's technically done. So we're going to go ahead and. Yeah, this room's technically done. Even though that, that diagonal looks open, it's not. So we're going to go ahead and... Uh, if I wasn't blind... Set owner. Holy hell, dude. I could not see. Tom, welcome to your new home, man. This one here can now go away. Chocobo's hoping you finish up your house. You got a bathroom now. That's nice. You'll be able to you'll be able to actually use the restroom. May or may not have gotten distracted by Batman games. The real question here is what Batman game? That's what I want to know. <laughs> also, welcome, Ro. Nice to see you, man. Oh, good. Your cooking bench is about done too. That'll be really nice. So you can cook yourself some food. Uh, we need to copy settings from somebody else's storage thing. Copy settings. Paste settings. This is the most annoying part about doing things the way I am. Is that we have to, like, manually do all of this shit for every single house. It's not so bad once we get one set up, I guess. But still. Uh, not that one. This one. So, paste settings, details. This is for Tom, who has no cooking skill at all. So, <laughs> that should be fine. We need to rename this, too. Yeah, he has a lot of points now, man. <laughs> Rue. He, uh, he's, been, he's been playing fast and hard with them, but so far, it's worked out. The past couple of days, I don't know what changed, but for some reason... The, the bot has been very kind to him. He has all kinds of freaking points all of a sudden. Excuse me, game. Rename. I feel like... I feel like I'm extra freaking blind tonight, man. Tom's food. Oh, shit. We have to also change his area. Posture check. Hey, Psycho. What's up, man? Posture check again. I just started slouching, and now I have to <laughs> sit back up. Um, oh, that's right. Zone, we need to fix the allowed area. So stay home, Tom. Congratulations, Tom.
This is backwards. How big were the starting areas again? <laughs> 11 by 17. Okay. 11 by 17. Stay home, Tom. 11 by... Oh, we were actually really close. All right, and then clear, stay home, Tom, over here in Chocobo's estate that he has growing, like... You have the most points, you think, Nate? Yeah, I'm pretty sure you do, honestly. Like... You have a shit ton of points, man. All right, Tom, congrats. You have your own home now. Hope you like it. What are we growing over here? Nothing right now because of the temperature, but a little bit of heel root and some berries. Very nice. How large is your home, Mr. Noodle? Oh, that's like all the space you have. Okay. I was wondering if we should get you to grow some more stuff, but nah. I think you're pretty good with what you have, honestly. Awesome, Tom. Oh, we should probably get Tom some stuff to grow, though. What do we want Tom to grow? Um. Oh, we built his house backwards. His farm's gonna be out the front side. Interesting. Okay. Well, that's fine. It's kind of screwing me up, though, here. So instead of... We need to cut off two tiles there. Maybe we'll just make it long instead. Like that. And then... Pumpkins, peas? Do we have anyone growing peas? I don't think so. Not much variety in his food, but like... Canola. Yeah, let's do some peas, man. Get some peas growing. It's funny, you were at like two points like two days ago. I know, man. So the bot has been ultra kind to you lately. I don't know why exactly, but I mean, hey. It's not a bad thing. Oh, why are you so slow? Oh, because you're just wandering around right now, I guess. That makes sense. Tom's delivering wood to people's homes. Very nice. Tom, do you have a wood zone of your own? You do. do. Good, good. Oh, I guess that's one thing we should probably change in the manager. Right now, we're counting all wood on map. Um... Let's not do that. Well, no, nah, I guess we will. But just increase our goal amount a little bit. Since we have all these, like, separate zones, we're going to need a bunch. Plus, I mean, wood right now with our primitive co colony, uh, it's used for, like, everything, you know, to power the cookers, to power the, the campfires that keep us warm. Basically everything. Should you expand? You have 51k, you can buy some land. That's totally up to you, love, if you want to. I still don't know what else I'm going to add in here, I guess. For you. I mean, we could probably add, like, a second room for if you if you end up having a child or something. Um, I don't know, man. But that's totally up to you, love. Whatever you want to spend your points on. Your your Twitch points, to be clear. The the bot points are different from the, the Twitch points. I wish there was a way to make it so it wasn't like that, but But sadly that's that's the only way to do things. Tom's finally growing his peas. We need some warm clothes. Yeah, we we really kinda do, huh? So look, the in slash restaurant would be really nice. But Do we get, like, a small clothing thing first so that we can make warm clothes? I mean, we're coming out of the... Out of the cold months. I think we'll be okay, honestly. We're going to skip that for now. Um, 
let's go ahead and just just get these in slash restaurant was the the whatchamacallit moved it is the horseshoe all right so how do we want this laid out exactly we're gonna want in the front some sort of like probably dining room slash area or something like that and it's gonna need to be pretty large but we want to leave some space in between everything Maybe like 11. Just kind of need to, to you know, lay it out a little bit. And then we're going to want some tables for people to eat at. Sushi prep table? I didn't even know that was a thing, man. There's all kinds of new stuff in this with all the mods that I'm using. I normally play like not quite so modded. Circular table seems nice for this sort of thing. Probably leave a couple spaces from the entrance, right? And then maybe, like, we can fit three tables across. It's going to be it's gonna be pretty packed, but something like that, perhaps. And then... Now you want to hear the Rick and Morty heist music? <laughs> what? You know, that's a show that I never really watched. I should, but I never really have. Oh, and then maybe we should get, like some tables and things have this be kind of like a, a I don't know I'm thinking like American bar style thing you know we'll have one pool table there and then maybe here is where we'll keep some some food trays not food baskets is it meal maybe yeah meal tray rack people can get their meals there structure wooden walls so this is gonna have to come out to here to accommodate that now we're gonna need somewhere for people to actually cook at in this restaurant area I oh, wish probably get some chairs for people too technically they don't need it but we'll we'll put some down some dining chairs yeah why not we're not going to build all the tables and everything right away. Just a couple of them. The rest of the stuff will, uh, like, disable. One thing I don't like about it being so packed is there's really not any, any space to, to walk around, is there? Do we get rid of this center section here? I think I like it like that a little bit more, actually. It gives a little bit more room for people to, like, walk through and whatnot. All right, the kitchen area doesn't need to be huge, but we do need some space for it. I think that can come out the back here. We're going to need a... What's it called? Is it called a cooker? Stove? Peeled stove. A couple storage shelves. The tall shelves. Oh, probably a kitchen sink too, actually. How big are the sinks? Kitchen sink with cabinet. That's actually pretty small. That's not nearly as big as I thought it would be. So maybe we do it like that. And then... Oh, there's this kitchen sink too. Now nah, we'll use the other one. And then we do the shelves behind it. Leave a little bit of a gap. Then the meals will come out here. This will be like overflow stuff for the most part. Just cook a bunch of food. Um, so then if we put up... No, not short walls. Regular walls. So assuming we have that like that. Then over here would be our like area for, for a little... For little rooms for people which don't need to be huge probably like two by three would probably be big enough i hate having this little tiny hallway but i don't know how else to make it work and we could like move this down it'd be an odd odd shaped thing 
Do we do that? Just move all this down a little bit? No, nah, it'll be fine. It's a little tiny hallway. It's fine. Who cares? And then... No, one more. That's... Mm. No matter what, we're ending up with like a little bit of a, a weird spacing here, huh? I guess we could just keep this going out and then maybe we have like larger rooms. Because I, I think, if I'm not mistaken, I'm pretty sure you can also set prices for your rooms and things. So maybe these are like the, the cheaper rooms for people that come to visit. Right? These little smaller ones here. And then down here we have like larger rooms. Like that, something that's a little bit nicer. Oh, there we go. And that actually lines up, too. Two, three, four, five, six. So that gives us six spaces for people to come and stay. Yeah, okay. Oh, bathrooms, though. I mean, these guys could probably have their own private one, but we are definitely going to need bathrooms somewhere. Maybe we just make this first one like a... a public restroom and that'll give us three cheap rooms yeah i mean i think that's pretty decent for now let's go ahead and uh let that get started we're going to disallow a couple things though we don't need two of those we don't need any of this stuff up here or honestly like even both of these tables we only need one table for now Your underbedded amount seems to give auto win, which essentially makes it a way to gift points. What? I thought if you try to gamble... Oh, you mean with the duel or something like that? Sorry, I didn't see like what happened before that, but... Oh, I didn't see that you did the heist either, man. I'm sorry. I totally would have joined that. Oh, doors, though. We need some doors, man. So just one door to come in, I think, is fine. That... One, two, three, four. Okay, you know what? Let's put the door there instead of over top of that so that we can leave that where it's at. Yeah, with the door. I gotcha. It's weird that it would do that, though. You would think it just wouldn't let you... Ah, uh, these here are even number rooms. Do I hate even number rooms? Whatever. We'll just do like that, then, I suppose. Hacking internet connection in the hacking wind? Oh no. Sounds like you're not having a great time right now, Rue. <laughs> Alright, uh, we need beds for these people that are going to be staying here. Real beds, preferably. Ooh, a slab of hard material made to sleep on. Slab beds are uncomfortable, but some see their use as a demonstration of moral good. Do we make... <laughs> Do we make people that buy the cheap rooms... Sleep on a slab bed. I mean, we shouldn't. But I'm kind of tempted to. It's kind of funny. Oh, I don't know, man. Let's get a water tub in here as well. Are we out of wood? I didn't really want to make this out of steel. Hold on, cancel that. Copy this one. That's better. We had almost 20,000. Wait, what happened? <laughs> How did you lose so many? Oh, because Nate won the duel against you. Yeah, I don't know what's up with the bot just like loving Nate right now, man. It's crazy. He's getting all the points, man. All of them. Goat meat has rotted away in storage. Ah, uh, solar flare. Doesn't really matter for us right now, because, uh... Yeah, we don't have any. We don't have any electronics. How are things going down here for you, man? You have no meals set up. It's not looking great for you, Tom. Also, we should probably get some of these rocks out of here, dude. It's Rock City over here by your house. I didn't notice he's right next to the graveyard, too. 
bro. That <laughs> that's rough, man. Should we have set up proper beds before we <laughs> before we started thinking of getting like an inn up and running? Maybe, but oh well, it's fine. Furniture. Let's get let's get let's get a bed in here. <laughs> there are like actual medical beds and things that you can learn to to use as well, but obviously we don't have any of that right now. Oh, that's right. I have a mod that makes heal root and stuff glow, so it's just to make it easier to to see um, whenever it's growing wild. But it's also producing a nice little effect here by Noodle's house. Kind of like it. I'm not going to lie. Looks nice. Okay. It's not that cold out anymore. So we can probably go ahead and stop refueling the uh, fireplaces inside people's rooms. So I don't think we're going to get another cold snap or anything. I don't think. I mean, I hope not. Uh, what? Select similar on map. Am I like double clicking something? Oh no, there it is. I'm just blind. That's all. You just stole all of the, <laughs> all the points. An animal farmer named Ian is crashing in a transport pod nearby. If he survives the impact, he will be badly wounded. Ian is from your enemy, the Black Criminals. You can capture him for recruitment or slavery. Well, we don't do slaves, but I'm not against taking prisoners. How are you, bud? You're going to die in eight hours if you don't get taken care of. Um, You did a redeem? Reverse, reverse. I don't know how to do that on PC, really. <laughs> what we did last time was left-handed mouse and flipped the keyboard upside down, which is... Uh, Oh god, something just fell. I'm sure it wasn't important. Whatever the hell. And then flip the keyboard, and at least this isn't like an intense game, so it won't be like super hard to do stuff. It'll just take a moment. Oh god, I'm already misclicking things though, because my, my mouse is hitting my keyboard. Okay, there we go. Alright, so Ian, how are you, bud? <laughs> Um, you're in mind-shattering pain, but, I mean, that's fine. Whatever. You got pretty good skills. You're not incapable of anything. You are jealous, which sucks. So that means if you don't have the best bedroom, you're going to be upset. But honestly, I don't think I care if you're unhappy. <laughs> we do have to give you somewhere to stay, though. For now, I guess we could make this a prisoner room. It's technically part of the hospital, but, like... Oh well, you know. So sleeping spot right there. Uh not for guests. Definitely not for guests. No. For prisoners. And then I guess we should make another one but flag it as being medical. I mean, it's not really any better. And I'm pretty sure like when there's not a medical bed, they'll just use the regular one as a medical bed, but whatever. Okay, noodle. Capture Ian for us, please. Oh, it's not a safe temperature? What? Oh, shit. It's warming back up, or it's cooling back off outside. I thought we were out of the cold season. Um. I guess we can mark this as being for prisoners for now. Just nobody gets sick, because, like, if anybody gets sick then you're not going to have a medical bed to go to. <laughs> Prisoner marked bed in safe temperature. What do you mean? Oh, it's probably a medical one. Son of a... Uh, for the last time, Mr. Noodle, please and thank you. Capture... No reachable unres... Oh, is it because of the... You're probably not allowed to go over there right now, huh? Because of what time of day it is? It's currently six. Okay. 
I thought whenever I told you to do something, you would do it regardless of that, but I guess not. Maybe I'll have to draft people and make them do things. Heist? Oh, okay. See, this part's going to be a pain in the ass. Uh, shift. Where's the H? Oh, God. Typing with an upside-down keyboard. I... I think that's an S. Nope, that's that's a W. T. Where's the T? Space. One, three, three, seven. I feel like this is the first time I've ever typed in my life or something. Like... <laughs> uh, Mr. Noodle. <laughs> Why is Ian sitting outside? <laughs> Ian... <laughs> Uh, did Ian just die? Oh my god. Probably because you just... <laughs> Why didn't you take him to the medical bed? Why? <laughs> Noodle. You can't just drop him outside. I bet it's because your schedule changed for the day. Oh. Well, we almost had a new person. It's fine. Whatever. This is for colonists again. It's a medical bed. We're gonna leave this one as being for prisoners for now, though. Somebody's having a binge party. Tom. Tom's having a binge party. Oh, you do heist, space, and then how many points you want to bet. And, of course, you can't bet more points than you have. Tom, you just chilling up here by Chocobo? Did we forget to remove this as a space for you? No. No. Let's just not be home time. You and you and Chocobo probably formed some sort of friendship or something. You're just stealing some of his food. Tom, you're supposed to be at home right now. That's Chocobo's home. Tom, your home's down here. Oh, because you were having that party, that feast. So you refused to leave until your feast was done. Well, that's fair, I guess. Hey, Noodle, thank you so much for the five bits, love. I appreciate it. Okay, we're not taking quests right now. We need to we need to get our own colony up and running a little bit. We got the table. We have a cooker, but it's not going to do us a whole lot of good without you know, a building built up around it. What we should probably do for now is go ahead and um forbid all of this stuff, like the extra room stuff that we don't really need. That way we focus on getting the restaurant part up and running. And then uh, once we get the restaurant up and running, then we'll, we'll focus on doing the rest. Oh, shoot. I just re uh, blah, blah, blah. saw the time, too. We need to go ahead and take a break, guys. We're going to take a quick break. I'm going to stand up, stretch, maybe get something to drink. You know, do all that good stuff. I suggest you all do the same. And then we'll be right back with some more room world. I hope you guys are enjoying yourself. I know I am. I freaking love room world, dude. Anyways, BRB. Square. Triangle does nothing right now. X is still jump. Okay. We got this. Oh. Well, I'm glad there was, like, something down here to catch us. Because, uh... <laughs> I thought the guy would, like, move out of the way whenever I freaking did the, the long jump onto him. I didn't realize he was just going to chill there. Completely blocking us. Like she holds it for days at a time and goes work a little heart once. <laughs> so she has a cage. Yes, she does. Sadly, although she doesn't seem to mind it most of the time. Every once in a while, she'll like not want to do the cage thing for some reason. But she's actually taken to cage training very well. Uh, you're under arrest, Miss Computer Lady Voice. You got a cat that can eat just about any table scrap and another cat that can hardly tolerate anything. Yeah. I feel like... I don't know. I feel like she would probably actually be okay with table scraps, but 
I, uh, I hate when animals beg for food, though, so I tend not to give my animals table scraps. Like, we'll give them a tiny bit of cheese every once in a while, or, uh, like, whenever we're, we're making something with canned tuna, we'll give them a little bit of tuna or whatever, but we tend not to give them too many table scraps for that reason. Begging animals are the worst. Ground pound? Yeah. Not as good as the booty blast, but I guess that works too. She has everything she could ever want in that stupid cage. I know she does. She's got toys and water and food, her own personal litter box, a bed, a hidey hole, a loft in case she wants to get up higher. All kinds of towels and things to, to for her to cuddle up in. Like, she's got it made in there, honestly. She gets to hide from the other cat that she doesn't get along with at all. <laughs> Every time we land in the water, it looks like we're being shocked or something. It's a weird graphic they used for that, man. Right? Like, it looks like there's an electric shock. Uh, I feel like the game's giving us an awful lot of health for what we face so far. It's a little weird. This shit is why I keep telling my birthing unit to stop feeding my cat. Yeah. That, it just drives me crazy, man. Like, they're already bad enough with the begging just for the regular food. Like, I don't want them around begging every time I'm trying to eat food, too. I gotta yell at Noodle all the time for... Because <laughs> she used to, like, give them... Like I said, I don't mind them getting a little bit of cheese every once in a while and shit like that. But she would give them cheese and shit just on the floor. Like, wherever she was eating it at. And it's like, nah. Nah, if you're gonna give them... You're gonna give them little treats or whatever, that's fine. But make them take it to the fucking... Or, fuck, why didn't I do a high jump? Anyways, make them go to their bowl to eat their food, you know? Whatever kind it is. Like, they need to know that their food is in the bowl, not in wherever the fuck I'm eating my food at. They do, they do really like string cheese. Why can't I high jump off that higher one? Is, is there something fucking stopping me from doing it? Like... Okay, now I fucking did it. Like, <laughs> what the fuck, game? <laughs> and then I can't grab onto these boxes either. I want that fucking precursor orb. I'm not leaving here without it. Ah, son of a bitch. Why isn't it working? Well, the high jump worked that time, but. Uh. Oh, shit. Okay. Gotta, gotta... No! Son of a bitch. Okay, whatever. I give up, I guess. That extreme cheese. He likes milk. And she likes uh, ice cream, which is weird, but... Because she's not really a milk drinker or anything like that, but for some reason, she really likes the ice cream. Like, there was one time... I forget what flavor ice cream it was. Probably just vanilla. But, uh, I forgot to throw the lid away, and we were eating it, like, late at night. So, it was, like, the next day, we go out into the kitchen or whatever and the fucking lid or maybe it was like in the afternoon and we saw it later that night anyways point is we went into the kitchen and the lid for the ice cream tub i had forgot to put away and it was just fucking oh i forgot there's like gta style shit if you do stuff wrong then the police come at you but anyways so yeah the fucking lid was just completely like clean like 100 percent. there was nothing left on it man like it was licked bare she really enjoyed that ice cream that night. Like, <laughs> and pumpkin. She really likes pumpkin too. Hello, like, strangers. My name is Core. May I help you? Fucking loves pumpkin. I want information. Where the hell am I? Uh, sorry. And he can't jump that high. Yeah. Well, he might be able to, but I'd be surprised if he could. <laughs> a guest of His Majesty Baron Praxis. The ruler of glorious Haven City. I was just a guest. Your inside cat likes honey turkey? Inside a cell or inside the city. I feel like ours would like turkey too. Hello, hello, hello. We are back, guys. And apparently I have to watch a scene from the Sandlot later. <laughs> I feel like I may have seen it 
at some point, but it's definitely been a while. L is a uh, food binging, so just going around stealing food from random people's houses, you know, as you as you do. <laughs> uh, seems normal enough, you know. Where's Mr. Noodle? Why are you cutting grass at six o'clock at night? <laughs> and now you're taking a nap. Uh, yep, that seems about right. <laughs> I shouldn't even be surprised, honestly. All right, so we're going to get the restaurant place open. So we have Noodle set as being the mayor right now is kind of kind of the goal. Um, restarted a s'mores war? Yeah, pretty much. Who do we want to run the inn slash cooking area, though? I know Nate wants to. and may I mean, it would probably be a decent idea to have two people doing it. But we don't have Nate right now. And this hopefully won't take too much longer to get set up. So who else could we have do it? Um, who's our best cook? Our best cook is Chocobo. But they're also the only constructor right now. So that's not going to work, work. Mr. Noodle's the next best cook. <laughs> but they're the mayor. So that's also not going to work. L. Not really a good cook. But they can cook. So maybe L. And then who's our best entertainer? Also Mr. Noodle. <laughs> Mr. Noodle, I think you were destined to run the inn. Not necessarily be the mayor. But jobs were already picked. So it is what it is. Um, what about wardening? Well, wardening is more of like the, the prison guard or whatever. Whenever, whenever that happens. Huh. I think it's going to have to be L, I guess. Oh, L's also the doctor. But I mean, the, the hospital's like right across from this place. I mean, they can kind of run back and forth. And then Tom's just, just Tom. They don't really do a whole lot. Mr. Noodle does want to grow their land. You got it, love. I need to like write down how much I'm going to grow people's land each time they, they ask for that. Because uh, I honestly don't have it, like, predetermined. Um, well, how big is Chocobo's? Because I think Chocobo and you now would have the same amount, give or take. 23 by 23. 23, okay, yeah. So there you go. So what else do we add? I still think a second room wouldn't be a bad idea. The layout of the houses are so bad. Since, like, they grew from this little tiny thing and then just slowly kind of, like, sprung up larger and larger. I mean, a second room. How about... Okay, so we need some clothes, right? We do definitely need that. Ooh, transport part crash. Yes, please. Scrooge. Your name is literally Scrooge. You have major Alzheimer's, which is not great. You're going to bleed out in seven hours. Uh, I don't think stream will let me do that. Probs not. Just do it over the sink. <laughs> I still don't think it would taste that great either. Because, like, um, lighters aren't perfect combustion. So it's like, I don't know, man. I feel like it would just have a weird flavor to it. But you may have played with fire a lot growing up. So did I. And then my house burnt down. So <laughs> no more playing with fire because it gets out of hand really quick. And I wasn't even trying to play with fire when my house burnt down. So anyways, eat him. Uh, we're not cannibals. That is actually something you can do, but we're not cannibals. I mean, I guess we're going to take him. But, um... I'm not going to be happy about it. <laughs> Capturing him will anger his faction. That's eh, fine. Whatever. I don't care. I think more so because you're basically blind. <laughs> I mean, yeah. There is that problem too, actually. The God of Rue does not condone cannibalism. You heard it here first, guys. <laughs> oh, you know what we should do? For the important stuff... Okay, they're hostile now. Whatever. Um... For the important people, the the doctor, specifically L, I think, 
we should probably extend their home area to being over here as well so that they can doctor whenever like during their home hours because I mean doctoring's kind of an important job all the time you know not just not just whenever it's work hours you're on call basically so all right l wake up go take care of scrooge before they die and we're going to try and capture them They're your mind shattering pain yeah that sucks I guess we should probably reduce your resistance first. Warns will attempt to recruit the prisoner first. Okay, okay. So you'll reduce it and then recruit. That's fine. The resistance only 16. That, I feel like that's not that high. So hopefully we'll get them and then uh, I guess that'll become Nate. Oh, you're the only one awake. So let's follow you around for a little bit. What you up to? Just cooking some meals? Rulites should not be cannibals. This is my first commandment. Well, uh, sadly, the way of the Rulites may actually die out, man. There's a decent possibility. Since Nate died, we only actually have two Rulites left, Mr. Noodle and Chocobo. And uh, we're not, we don't prophesize or however the hell you say that. So, um, yeah. <laughs> There's a chance that our that our religion just dies, man. The people, the the, the colony will live on, but the people may die. Did not mean to do caps. What'd you cap? I don't think I saw it. I must have missed it. That's why I said it's a miracle. Oh, at the end. That's why I said it's a miracle. I never did exactly that. Really a miracle that you didn't catch the garage on fire. You just get stoned and play with fire. Yeah. You should play a game where a pretty good sized spider runs across the screen half of the time you walk through cobwebs. <laughs> uh, no, the religion of Rue will live. I mean, we're not going to try and let it die out, but I think there's a decent chance it does, man. But the colony as a whole survives. That's what that's what's important, right? No babies? Uh, you can have babies. That is another mod that I have enabled. Um, but... Yeah. <laughs> the baby that was going to be born kind of died. So... Oh, Elzar Crafter. Son of a bitch. Tom? <laughs> Your cooking skill sucks. But, um, Tom's going to be, Tom's going to be our town cook, apparently, because everyone else already has jobs to do. Congratulations, Tom. You now own an inn. <laughs> God. Oh, this is terrible. Okay, uh, we actually want to do bulk meals when we can. Do until X. Uh, take anywhere. That's fine. And I want you to make a lot. A lot of meals. And you can just kind of drop on floor. And then when we fall below 35, I guess... Do we really only have 13 meals in the whole colony? No, seven. Oh, wait, shit, we might actually. Oh my god, why do we have no meals? Did we run out of food? No, we have lots of food. People just must not be cooking a whole much. Well then. I think we're going to need even more than that with people like cooking their own food all the time and whatnot too. That's the problem with, like, these little meal tray things. Oh, what we could do, actually. Hey, Rude, you want a pawn, too? You got it, man. My wife died while pregnant with my child. Yeah, I did. What we can do, and what we probably will do, is put a little uh, spot over here. And then just watch that one. Does Colony get no bitches? I mean, sometimes. The problem is, like... Deemed a thing. I know, I know. You'll get it. It's the next spawn. Well, the next spawn that comes in is Nate's because there's a queue right now. And then it's Hattie's and then it's yours. Like. 
house. <laughs> I wanted the big house to myself. So rude. Anyways, no, what I was trying to say, we should put a little zone here. I might as well have God with you when there's a chance of the religion dying. Uh, the only problem, Rue, like, uh, we will definitely put you in here, of course. But the sad thing about that is whenever a new pawn gets added, they spawn with a random religion. So there's a pretty decent chance you don't follow your own religion. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I'm probably misspelling restaurant, but I don't care. Restaurant food. Details. Uh, any worker's fine, actually. I don't care. Restaurant food. Oh, and then these here should follow... Any kind of food. And plants. Doesn't really make sense, I guess, but it's fine. Same here. Any kind of food. Uh, this one's going to be important. And allow meals. All meals. And yeah, same here. Any kind of food. And plants. Then 100 is going to be a bit much now. So I'm thinking uh, 50. Yeah, 50. Unpause at 25. Nah. 35. Whatever. That's fine. Oh, shit. We had another transport pod crash? I did not see that. Um... They're going to die in four hours. I mean, we're we're going to try and save them, but this game should allow you to tamper with a pawn stuff. That would be interesting, wouldn't it? Mr. Noodle Redeem Sing Mode. Of course he did. Oh, you're the worst. That would be hilarious, actually. Not to mention that would be one hell of a backstory. God in human disguise hates the Rue God because Rue God is absent. You are loved. I'm not loved. Y'all hate me. Uh, I hope you're ready for five minutes of ABCs. <laughs> what time is it? It's 128. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Holla back, girl. I ain't your holla back, girl. I don't know that song. <laughs> uh, holla back, girl. Oh, shit. I actually can't do that. Because I have to have desktop mode. Um, Because of the game. So I can't play music in the background e even. This shit is bananas. B-A-N-A-N-A-S. I don't remember the words to this song. <laughs> Just B-A-N-A-N-A-S. Old MacDonald had a farm. E-I-E-I-O. And on this farm there was a pig. E-I-E-I-O. With an oink oink there and an oink oink here. There an oink here an oink everywhere an oink oink. Old MacDonald had a farm. E-I-E-I-O. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. How do you sing a laugh? Oh no, Marina has died. And I think they were related to us. I guess that's just how things go sometimes. I don't know what that rhymes. It's really hard to sing songs without music in the background. Hence why I'm singing ABCs, because it is super easy. We will allow this now. So we can store our cows. I don't know why you all hate me. Oh, well. There is a great party opportunity. Every year on the 6th of April, May, Dominator celebrate the great party. To begin the ritual, select a focus object and click the begin great party command. 
The following are valid focus objects. A lit campfire or ritual spot. Spot must be unroofed with at least 25 unreefed cells in the area. I guess we'll try it and see how it goes. Maybe if we're lucky, we'll get some hose. <laughs> All our campfires are unlit. That's kind of a problem. Uh... Hose as in bitches or hose the tool? I think you know which one. Uh, rule. <laughs> Coffees and cigarettes are my only escape. I got my cup of joe, my pack of stokes, and I'm on my way downtown. I definitely don't know. Never shout, never. I'm assuming that's who that is. Someone new though, and that made my day. Oh. It's not part of the song. Uh, A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Time's almost up. Golly. We had a beautiful, great party. That's actually amazing. And we got a gift. Oh, thank God. Five minutes. <laughs> okay. That was absolutely horrible. Hydrate. We got that. Get a pawn. That'll be for later. Uh, what's going on? There's an eclipse. That's fine. We don't have any electricity. So who cares? We can also do begin high fare. Um... We want Chocobo as the speaker. Why well, won't Chocobo? Only a dominate. Oh, that's for a different religion. Well, yeah, no, never mind then. Colin needs bitches, so that's what I'm guessing. Oh yeah, guys, my certificate and membership card finally came in. Membership card and certificate for what? Their wonderful stream. They're a band of actually purchased a digital album instead of just streaming it. I uh, I've heard of them. I know who they are, but no, I don't think I've ever. Like, really, let's do it. I'm pretty sure I have heard that song, though. Like, on the, uh, the, uh, the, uh, trip or a van or something that I was in with people. Um, hand cannon pour. We'll sell the short bow. We'll sell the shitty clothes. You don't have, like, anything we want to buy, though, do you? Medicine would be nice. Some mint tea? I mean, some tea would be nice. It's kind of expensive, but we'll buy we'll buy five enough for at least the colony. Non-lethal pistol? No, nah, fuck that, dude. And that's it. Okay, well, we'll do a little bit of trading with them at least. T S T. Remember? T. Oh. Yeah. Uh. Da 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 da. da. Yeah, <laughs> I remember now. Yep, thank you. It took me a second. <laughs> we were talking about it on stream, like, what was that, two months ago or something like that? <laughs> that was forever ago, dude. But yeah, no, I got it. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Probably only knows Big City Dreams. I probably don't know any of them, actually. But, I mean, <laughs> like, actually know any of them. Resistance 14.2. So slowly they're being worn down. Once they're worn down enough, eventually they'll... uh be able to be converted they left us a dog leather bowler hat and a sapphire silver ring dude thank you appreciate that everyone's taking a little nap uh we're gonna start trying to get our rooms built up over here we should probably do like one room at a time instead of just doing all of them but ah, eh, where's the fun in that right our food is getting on the way so that's set to preferred what's this one set to Im Important. No. Perf normal. Actually. It's all downhill from here? Oh no. Survive. Oh, it's been a year in game. Holy hell, dude. We've survived a year, our little colony, and it's grown so much. Not really, but <laughs> it has grown, though. 
Uh, good. Your food stores are empty. I like it. Yeah, so these, these little things should probably be normal priority, actually. Normal, normal. Why do you have all the food? <laughs> L has all the freaking food. No one else has any. <laughs> Just screw everyone else, dude. Thankfully, random cargo pods with clothes keep popping up, because otherwise we would be screwed, dude. Uh, oh yeah, that's right. We were going to give Noodle a little, like, tailoring area or something so that they could start making some of their own clothes. I think that's not a terrible idea. How's our wood situation? We have some. Not a ton. Is there any flag to be cut? There is. We really need someone, like, dedicated just to plant cutting. Plant cutting and, like, hauling, dude. Thankfully, we're out of the cold months, so it shouldn't be too bad, but still. I'm a material girl. What? <laughs> All right, so yeah, let's give you a little room for, like, making stuff. Um, I think it's called Taylor's Hand Tailor Bench. Wood. So that's just a little 3x3 three three thing. I mean, I guess we'll just shove it in a little tiny room. Maybe we leave, like, a bit of space in case we want to... Uh, a living room or something would probably be nice. Yeah, so let's shove it, like, over here. This is going to be a really weirdly shaped house, dude. Your house is going to be super weird looking. Wooden wall. Something like that. Get you a door. Oh, yeah, I forgot we had single doors. They're cheaper to make. Uh, I mean, we've already started building the other ones. So I guess we're going to keep that for now, but... Oh, well. Um, and then we'll need to... Get you some storage for, like, leather or something. Hi, Noodle. I don't want it. Thank you, though. <laughs> How do you feel, Noodle, about making some clothes? What? I don't know what that means. <laughs> she said, I'm a material girl. But I still don't know what a material girl means. So... <laughs> it's not particularly helpful. He's fine with making clothes. Something mayor. So. <laughs> Busy. Busy mayor. Got it. Two people are idle. Why are you idle? Are we out of cloth or something? Tom is idle too. Shouldn't you be like, do you guys not have plant cutting enabled? Everyone should have plant cutting enabled all of the time. They do. So how the hell do you not, like, have something to do, dude? Go do stuff. Although, I guess it may have been, like, their work hours. Like, during work hours, you can't really can't really do much, I guess. Um, what you can do, though, we're not going to want all of these plants <laughs> inside here. So, there you go. Cut all of that down, Tom, when you have nothing else to do. Or everyone, just do, do it. I'm still hoping that we can get Scrooge. Oh, transport pod, pod again. I th the game's really trying to give us another person. So you got some scratches. F somehow three scratches are going to make you bleed out in three hours. Psychically hypersensitive tycoon. Incapable of healing or hauling, cleaning, or nuclear management. I mean, it's kind of annoying, but we could work with that. Chocobo. Uh, I didn't mean to grab you, actually. I meant to grab Mr. Noodle. Capture. Hopefully before they die this time. Although, I don't know. They're only going to live for a couple hours. Can you tend in place? Yes. Tend. Actually. Try to stop them from dying. And then... Capture. There we go. That's better. 
capture. We gotta, we gotta grow our colony one way or another, man. Uh, Noodle, what are you? Uh, why are you throwing up? Okay. <laughs> You're not sick. Why were you throwing up? Weird. It's fine, I guess. She's referencing a TikTok sound, you think? Oh. Maybe. I'm not a TikToker, man. I don't I don't know the TikToks. Y'all talk about the vines and the TikToks and things I get lost. Okay, guys. Question. For those of you that redeemed pawns, since it's taking a while for us to get pawns, do you want to do where we just, like, so, Nate, since you requested the next one, you would be L, and then and then Tom would be Hattie, and then if we get one of these ones, they would be the next? So, like, just the order that we receive people in, we'll just rename them to be something, or do you want to wait until we actually get new pawns? I'm down to do it either way, but I'm I'm curious what you guys want to do since you're the ones uh spending points on it you know my little person is really like me yes yes they are <laughs> just randomly throwing up for no reason <laughs> naps half the day away seems about right yeah yeah you'll wait okay okay so we'll wait we'll wait until we get new ones it's gonna suck whenever you get Scrooge, though. The old Alzheimer person that's <laughs> using rock. <laughs> Not you, but Volk. Volk's using a rock as a as a pillow right now, it looks like. So, that's awesome. Resistance 14. Not too bad. Not too bad. You have a low will, too, which, which is nice. That means you'll be a little bit easier to... Uh, to break, to recruit... Oh, good. We got our public bathroom set up. Oh, we got all of our rooms set up too, dude. That's actually awesome. Let's, uh, I don't think we need the steel right now, but let's claim and deconstruct those for a little bit more steel. And let's start getting some beds up so that we can get our industry up and going. Our, our well, sort of industry, you know, having, having people come and visit industry. There is one thing that I just realized that's going to be a problem. Um... We don't have any just, like, public fields. Well, I mean, everyone has, like, their own little food fields. I think we're going to have to put a public field in here somewhere, too, for for stuff like this for the restaurant to be able to grow food. But whatever. We'll do that in a minute. Uh, furniture. Actual beds, please. Uh, we're going to do the cheap ones for now. You know what? We will put a couple slab beds in. In like a shared room like that. Not steel though. Cancel. Canceled. I do want to make them out of wood still. So we'll go back to that. But we do want to do a couple of those. Um, and then these ones are going to get the nice beds. And... Uh, I'm freaking blind. Build copy. There we go. So these will be like regular rooms. These will be expensive rooms. The, this will be like a free shared room for people that come in and have no money at all or whatever. And then we also need to do zone. I think it is. Like shopping area or something like that. C-O-R-E. Mm. Is that something that we have to research? I mean, it wouldn't make sense, but maybe. Not everything in this game does make sense. Guests. Map settings. Oh, you just make a regular zone and then... Okay. Try to create friendships. Guests may take food for free. Um, for now, no. They're allowed in any of the home areas. That's fine. So we need to make a new zone just for shopping. Manage area, new area. Shops. Oh. 
So you can't buy stuff from back here, but you can buy stuff from here. And right now that's our only shop, so. Well, do we let them buy raw ingredients too? Yeah, why not? It's kind of weird letting them come into our kitchen though. You know what? I, I think actually I don't like that. No, don't go into our kitchen. Maybe we'll have like a raw food area at some point, like a grocery store or something, but... L has damaged wooden square chair due to their weight or strange posture. What? How did you just break a chair, dude? Did you just like plop down on it or something? We need some more graves. Didn't really think we'd need more so quickly, but it is what it is. Our food situation is not terrible, but also not amazing. Thankfully, it looks like we are getting a harvest going. Everybody's got their own little things. Oh, yeah, we are going to go ahead and make zone growing area. Um, out behind here, I guess. This here may, like, continue to expand. So may that. I mean, I guess that home might, too. I didn't want it to be too far away from everything. But, um... I guess this home's just going to have to expand up instead of, like, back much farther. We'll plan on this kind of expanding back this way, but we'll leave a little bit of space. I don't know. Just some arbitrary amount. And then we'll do, like, four fields. And this is just going to be general food stuff. Potatoes. Uh, rice, because I know rice grows really quickly. Um strawberries because you can eat them raw without too much trouble and then actually we should probably grow some cotton it's not food but still it's something at some point what we're probably going to want to do is build like a, a rancher or something maybe not a ranch like a, a i don't know somebody a farmer we're probably going to want to build like a farmhouse for someone Elle has fixated her rage on Chocobo. She will follow Chocobo around, hurling insults. <laughs> Dude, that's kind of... Oh, okay then. Elle just really doesn't like Chocobo right now. Doing everything they can to make their life miserable. That's, uh... That's awesome. <laughs> Not literally, but... Yep. Simple meal has rotted away in storage. Uh, see, that's another problem, though. Without refrigeration, like... If you have the stats for it, you would take farmer. Okay. Okay. Um, I feel like farmer's not something that we need right away, though. It would be nice to have a farmhouse. I'm still partial to giving you this, honestly, but I guess we'll see what your stats end up being. Like, who gets recruited first over here and what their stats are and whatnot. We really need more of that, though. Let's go ahead and look at the work schedule. Who is growing stuff? Mr. Noodle. Mr. Noodle's the only one growing stuff. Uh, during the regular part of the day. Tom's not too bad at it. What's your level 3 stuff? Plant cutting. Okay, everyone's plant cut's going to go up to level 2. If, if plants are flagged to be cut, cut the damn plants. Um... No, not hunt. Constructing's actually going relatively well with just Chocobo, so I'm going to leave that for now. Farmer builder, I think, would be what you like as your main profession type of thing. Okay. I'll try to remember that. You'll probably have to remind me, though, because my memory, as you know, is not fantastic. Um, I wish we could, like, people would fish more often. Okay, and then... Maybe plant things? We need we need someone else to plant other than just Mr. Noodle. What's your level 3 stuff? Crafting. You can do that while you're at your work area. Smith Taylor Craft. Yeah, okay. Everyone's getting some growing priority. Because we need to make sure the fields get grown. You're going to get your shower? Go ahead, love. Get your shower. 
Chocobo, you have, like, one of the more interesting jobs. Let's follow you around for a little bit. Refueling a stove? Is it your stove? It's probably your own stove. It is. You know, it'd probably be smarter to just take some wood to your damn stockpile, but... You're stealing ingredients from Noodle. <laughs> oh, no. You're un okay, okay, okay. You're you're putting stuff in Mr. Noodles. I thought you were stealing all of their lettuce <laughs> or whatever that is to make some meals for yourself. Now you're stealing ingredients from Noodle, though. <laughs> I guess what we should do probably is limit the range on the ingredient check, both so they don't waste too much time, but also, um. Like, running around, but also so they don't do as much stealing ingredients from other people. <laughs> uh. Yeah, 20-ish seems like a pretty good number. This one will leave unlimited. If they need to steal food from people, they can steal food from people. The restaurant's the most important one, I feel like, to have stuff. And radius 20-ish. And you as well. 20-ish. Everyone's having a, a, a nap at 1900 hours. Why, dude? It's the middle of the day. Why are you having a nap? I mean, it's fine, I guess, but holy hell. Oh, um, we should set up a social zone like in the the common areas and stuff so we'll like zone expand allowed area manage area i think i just called it social in the scheduler so whenever it's social hour you guys should be like hanging out over here or where's this at or like over here by this that's not centered on that, like, at all, is it? I think that's a little better. I don't know. Something like that. That should be good enough. Should probably get a campfire over there, too. I think that'd be nice. Oh, the celery's got blight. All of the celery's got blight. Holy hell, that's bad. Well, I mean, at least we have a lot of other food growing. So it shouldn't, like, be the worst thing in the world. But that still kind of sucks, I'm not going to lie. Let's get a campfire over here, too. Maybe, like, uh... Um, right there. Hey, Chocobo. I know cooking food is important, but... Oh, my God. Your blight is going to spread to all of your crops, so... We need we we need to stop the blight, dude. I mean, it's auto set to cut, but cutting must not be a very high priority for for them. Oh my god, there it goes. It's spreading. It's continuing to spread. Please get rid of the blight, dude. It's siesta time. That's ironic coming from you. Wait, what? I don't remember what I said. Oh, do you mean the social thing? It's like making people get together? Because I'm not a social person? <laughs> I'm not sure what I said. I, uh, I don't pay much attention to the words that come out of my mouth. Oh, napping in the middle of the day? I don't take that many naps. I do nap from time to time, but not that often. Chocobo spending some free time making uh, making meals for the colony. That's fine. I mean, it's kind of weird you're stealing food from L to do so, but I, we gave you permission. That's that's a law that was passed in the town. You're allowed to steal food from from others' pantries to <laughs> to make sure the the colony has food as a whole. Uh, we should floor this area. That'll help out with the whole... We have no wood. Okay, we have some wood. We have more to be... 
done, man. We, we, we need someone to haul things for us. We need just like a dedicated hauler. We can train the dog. Where's the dog? Hold on. Train you to haul. And then we need to make sure somebody has a high level animal handling. We actually have a couple with high level animal handling. Good. Because if Carl can haul for us, then that would actually help out a ton. Oh, we were flooring. That's right. Floors. For now, just wood. Wood's not the most sterile of things, but it's better than nothing. And then slab bed wood I'm gonna get a little uh wood pile out here just copy someone else's maybe like I don't know out front's fine I guess Think about napping in the middle of the day. I just want to say you're not that many made me miss the D&D game I've been waiting on. You're not that many made me miss. Oh, because I don't nap in the middle of the day that often? That's what you're saying? Yeah. Maybe we could get a little chess table in here. I mean, it is a... Yeah, I'm sorry about that. <laughs> that many naps, yeah. I figured out what you meant. It just took me a minute. It's not really, like, centered. I guess someone's going to have to stand. <laughs> because I want it to be centered. It'll bother me if it's not. There we go. People can play chess while they while they eat some food. Why is there a random bottle of water sitting out here? Take that somewhere. How you guys doing? You're slowly getting better. Resistance 12.3. 10.3. Okay, they're getting there. They're getting there. They do cost us food, but... Scrooge has a medical emergency. Wait, why do you have a medical emergency? Dehydration extreme. Oh. I think we need to get them a little water bucket. If he dies, he dies. I'm not that worried about it. It's kind of rude, I know. But uh, used by animals. Tub of water used for personal hygiene must be regularly filled. Also be used for drinking if thirst is enabled. Okay. I mean, I don't really want them to wash necessarily. But... We do have people on wardening, right? Mr. Noodle. Set to a level 2 priority, so you should do that before managing. Oh. But you don't have access to food or drink while you're doing that. <laughs> there are so many problems with this, uh, the way of doing things that we are that I never thought of. Like... So, like, because she has wardening enabled, she'll go and talk to them, Mr. Noodle will, but she doesn't have access to food or drink. So, really, like, the prison needs its own food area set up and water areas. Okay. Chocobo. Prioritize working on the water tub. Because Scrooge is going to die <laughs> if they don't get some water. So let's make sure that uh, that happens, please. Not the dying part. The the getting water. Not actually mad. Just picking on you. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, dude, I set an alarm and everything for that. Like, Because I knew I was going to fall asleep. I was super tired. Um, so I laid down so that I wouldn't be like falling asleep in the middle of the game. And uh, set an alarm for 15 minutes before D&D was supposed to start. That way I could you know, get up in time, but then I just freaking fell asleep and didn't wake up. 
I don't know why I didn't wake up, but I didn't. <laughs> Probably be slight split sessions here if what I'm wanting to run next and strict save. Okay. Works with me, man. You still have a medical emergency? Okay, you're up and moving around now. You should be fine. Yeah, you have severe dehydration, but it's better than it was. And you have a water tub, so you can drink from it. Hopefully that fixes itself sooner or later. Hello? Scrooge? Drink some water, dude? Maybe it just takes time to go away or something. I don't know. Man, these plants haven't been taken care of at all. Two colonists idle. Oh, and Tom. Um, I guess since you guys don't have a whole lot to do right now, I'm going to expand your work zones to also allow these fields. Since they keep going idle, they can do something at least. And I do have growing set as a low priority for everyone. Yeah, okay. Need the rest of your body said, nah, F that alarm. Dude, not only that, but like you called me and shit too. And I just slept through literally all of it. Slept through the alarm, slept through you calling me, the text message. Like, I, I have no idea why, but yep. Tis what it is, I suppose. Not much we can do about it now. Tom reached level 11 in animals. How's that going, actually? Isn't there a better, like, animal tab than this? Maybe not. Click to sort. Right-click to uncheck. Carl has learned zero of seven of the skill. Okay, so it's gonna it's gonna take a little while. But eventually Carl's gonna learn how to haul things, damn it. Mr. No Why are you sleeping in someone else's wait, owner Mr. Noodle? Unown How did your Excuse me? <laughs> how did your bed get lost? Well, anyways, this is a guest bed. And this one will cost 10 bucks. That's all. Nice and cheap. It's midnight already. You got to go to bed. Have a good night, Rue. Thanks for coming and hanging out with us for a little bit. We were worried about you, man, honestly. You Disappeared for a couple days. But glad to see you back, dude. And get some rest, of course. Later on, dude. My plans for next game. You're running a setting up for basically it can be ran whether someone misses or anything. Awesome. That's always nice. We need that sort of thing. I was botching some harvesting, but I mean, it's to be expected, I guess. Your plant skill probably sucks. I'll express interest in Scrooge's abilities. I'll told Scrooge about iguanas. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Been hella busy with stuff, so your brain was dead. I get it, man. Honestly, don't feel bad at all. We were just a little bit worried about you. We were hoping you were doing all right. That's all. Noodle, I'm still not sure how you lost your bed, but you got it back now. That's all that's important, I suppose. Our wood situation is still dire, but things should be flagged to be cut. Yeah, there's there's a bunch of it flagged to be cut all over the place. I mean, we could we could flag some of our own to be cut as well. Like some of the stuff right around the road here. I feel like that's a lot, but oh well. Everyone has weapons, right? No one dropped anything whenever they had a mental break or whatever. I think it's about time 
that we maybe increase the difficulty just one tick. Menopausal. Scratch the death in 15 hours. You're a cat person. You're incapable of dumb labor and cleaning, but I mean that's included by dumb labor. You're a cat person, workaholic, greedy. Oh, that's kind of rough. You're kind and fun-loving, though. I mean, we have to try and capture you, right? I guess what we could do... Instead of capturing you, we could just rescue you, but... Where's the fun in that, dude? Nah, capture. We're gonna capture. Mr. Noodle, do me a favor. When you capture them this time, don't drop them on the ground halfway to... <laughs> uh, halfway to the capture area. To the, to the little makeshift prison we got. What did I miss? Nothing too crazy. I'm just kind of waiting for, for things to happen. Oh yeah, I did just say though. We are going to increase the difficulty just one tick. Um, Maybe. we not do that? There should be a way to do that. Tame. 1x. Use language. Reset learning helper. Storyteller settings. There it is. Adventure story. There we go. That way we get some like better raids. And instantly we get a psychic drone. That's fun. <laughs> It's just so much harder, like, doing things like this, it makes it so much harder to actually grow the colony, I'm realizing. Like, it's crazy, man. Like, just getting stuff built and everything organized. Because normally you would just have, like, one big storage area for everything, right? Which makes it really easy to track everything. And then you would have just one person, or maybe two, cooking all of your food for you, etc., etc. But, like, not in this case. It makes it so much harder. Are you in yet? Uh, no. We do have three prisoners, so if we're able to recruit them, which we're trying to do, you'll get one of them. But it takes a long time to actually get prisoners to uh, join the colony. Speaking of, Volk and Scrooge are trying to do a prison break, so, uh, yeah. <laughs> Don't, like, shoot. Just, just melee attack. All right, Tom, melee attack there. Mr. Noodle, melee attack. There we go. You two, uh, again, don't shoot, just melee attack. <laughs> We're not trying to kill our prisoners. We want to recapture them. These could end up being Hattie and Nate. We don't, we don't want to murder them yet. <laughs> All right, uh, Noodle, capture, L, capture. Oh, we need another prisoner bed, technically. Okay, that's fine. We can put down another one. That's easy enough. Um, and there. Now, L. Capture. Ah, uh, damn idiots. Don't be breaking out of prison, dude. How bad did they get, Ellen and Tom? I mean, just a couple bruises, a bite scar. <laughs> I didn't realize they had that. You actually did lose your toe to frostbite too, L. And a couple bruises, a crack in your right tibia. Mm, that that doesn't particularly sound fun. Got a lot of trees marked to be chopped down, so that hopefully we can actually get some things built. We should start getting people coming and hanging out at the colony every once in a while, too. Because we did enable the beds. And the planting still hasn't happened over here. Corpse obsession. Oh, no. 
No, no, no. <laughs> that means the elves gonna go and dig up a body and display it. Displayed it on their own table. They're afraid to enter your territory for the following reason. Temperature and Imperials. Uh, send away for now. Uh, allow that corpse to be moved. At least I'll put the corpse in their own house and not someone else's. <laughs> I do appreciate that. Uh... I could give you Volk for a couple points. No, nah, that's not it's not worth it to me. What are you doing now, L? Just wandering around aimlessly. Go deal with the corpse that you dug up. Stay out of Chocobo's house, man. Chocobo's just trying to take a nap, dude. They don't need your <laughs> your corpse-ridden hands all over their shit. I was in a real bad mood. Yeah. How does suggest poll work? So if you want to have a poll of some sort, you can uh, you can suggest one. <laughs> That's really all it is. It's like if you wanted to ask everyone what their favorite Pokemon is or something stupid, then we could set up a poll and have people vote on it. Nothing crazy. That's just one of like the uh, the Twitch recommended ones. We got some mad squirrels attacking the colony. Not even mad squirrels, just one mad squirrel. Well, I'll tell you what. Uh, it's an ad break time, so we're going to go ahead and take a quick break. We'll be right back in just a couple minutes, and then Chocobo and Mr. Noodle are going to deal with this mad squirrel. <laughs> BRB, guys. I mean, cats in general are, you know, they're meant to be carnivorous uh, more than anything else, so it's no, no wonder, you know? Bro, how you just gonna arrest everybody, like an entire section of the city? Not in this city. Protect us from these guards, and I'll introduce you to someone who can help you. I time to murder. <laughs> Too easy. Uh, why are we angry, bro? I don't know. I, I guess it's like a tutorial section. It's just making us... It, I didn't choose to be evil. They're making me do it, guys. Alright, I'm better again. <laughs> Something's happening to me. Something he did. I can't control it. Ah, uh, you can't control it. I'm so angry all the time now. Justin was very brave. This child is important. Only me and her eat it so it works out that way. It doesn't go to waste as easy. Man, can I just say I'm glad you're streaming today? You had the worst start of my day. I'm sorry to hear that, man. Honestly. On your way to your midterm, you slipped and fell on ice. Your back and hand hurts like hell. The midterm was bullshit. You really needed this. Also, fuck this police force. Kill them all. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> oh, man. I'm really sorry about the the slipping and falling and all that, man. That sucks. And the midterms are always stressful. Like, I'm sure you did well on it, though. Dark Jack is kick ass. Dark Jack is kind of hot. <laughs> How you hitting on Dark Jack, man? Dude's got claws and can't control himself. Uh, I'd like to steal your vehicle, please. <laughs> yeah, it's GTA the video game, or like GTA meets Jack and Daxter. That's uh. That's uh that's where this came from, man. Where okay, we're going to the sword thingy. So we need to go around here. Have you met me? Dark emo boys are my style. Dark emo what the hell are they? Wombats? Like <laughs> I, don't, I don't know what animal they are technically. Jack and them. Or if they really even like are they a, a real animal or are they just something made up even? Like that's another thing, I guess I don't really know. What's with the question mark? I don't remember the question marks in the game. Just a random uh, holographic billboard of a question mark, man. Are they, they advertising the newest Mario game or something?
Alright guys, quick break that time. Didn't need much of one. Stood up and stretched a little bit, that felt good, but... Huh. Alright, um... What were we doing? You were hoping to make sing mode worse? Yeah, see, that's why I'm not promising anything. I'll consider what any, uh, any poll results, but I'm not promising anything for that very reason. Oh yeah, we had a <laughs> an angry squirrel because we stole their acorns, uh, I guess. Eh, that's fine. Oh, there's there's multiple angry angry squirrels. Oh, um. Okay, well in that case, undraft, and I don't know. We'll just. I'm sure it'll be fine. <laughs> What's the worst that'll happen? I mean, we have these visitors here, thankfully, that are actually, like, OP as hell. So they can help out a lot with that. So we'll just, we'll just let them deal with it. It's fine. What are you up to these days, Chocobo? Butchering a squirrel. Okay, I mean, hey, that gives us a little bit of meat back on the menu. We'll take it. All these quests we're really not equipped to deal with right now. I feel like our colony's just hanging on by a thread. Our food is, like, gone, man. Okay, we need someone dedicated just to growing things, I think. Yeah, see, like, this stuff's ready to harvest, but no one's doing it. Uh. Bro. Mr. Noodle is for a couple hours. When they're not wardening. Who's the next best grower? Tom? I guess Tom's gonna have to grow too. I was hoping like when people were at home they would do more of the growing of their own stuff, but it's obviously getting kind of left behind because like this stuff's ready to harvest and not harvested. Okay, that stuff's not. But all these potatoes are, and they're not harvested. These almost are, but not yet. Then we still have these fields over here that people should be coming and dealing with, but nobody really has yet. Oh, good, a heat wave. That should be awesome. <laughs> oh, fuck. First, we lost someone to the cold. Now we'll probably have someone die to the heat. It's fine. Everything's fine. Growing set to a level 2. That's a pretty high priority. Food bin L's now on a food binge. Awesome. Thankfully, it's raining, so the fire should go out on their own. Are you on a food binge or are you hunting it? Looked like you were hunting L. It's really a bad time for a food binge, though, considering that we have very little in the way of food. That's weird that that's not showing up uh, over here. I guess because they don't, like, actually count as a, uh, whatchamacallit, a stockpile. And this thing over here only counts things in stockpiles. So we have a little bit more food than what it looks like, at least. But it's not an amazing amount. Tom's actually growing a tiny bit of stuff. Just just barely, but <laughs> some stuff. Oh, from six until... Ten. Tom. Wait. Tom doesn't cook? Isn't Tom the one taking care of this area? Tom, buddy. You're gonna have to start cooking, man. <laughs> I could have swore we set him to cook, because isn't he the one that runs the, the inn right now? For the time being? Tom. Yeah, <laughs> he wasn't doing any cooking. No wonder Chocobo was doing so much over there. 
I mean, granted, there's there's not really any food to cook at the moment, but you're in a daze. That's fine, honestly. You're just a prisoner. Who cares? 107 degrees Fahrenheit outside. It's definitely warm. It's not like gonna die instantly warm, I don't think. People are starting to get heat stroke. Uh, I guess one thing that we should try to do is put a passive cooler inside here. And then Chocobo, whenever morning comes around, we'll have Chocobo try and... and build that that way people can come and deal with their heat stroke at least oh this is a medical bed and so we should continue working on that furniture wooden bed should just build a copy oh well ninety nine I mean it's slowly falling but it's still super hot out Okay, no. Hartoy is working on passive cooler. Is that enough wood to build it? It is, thank goodness. Um, and then we need someone to refill. There we go. So this room should stay cooler. It's not going to be amazing, but it'll be better than the outside. Low on food. Yeah, we kind of are. Tom is finally doing some growing, though. Kind of sucks that he's starting with the cotton. Honestly, don't sow any more of the cotton right now, guys. Grow the other stuff first. Our growing season's only until September. The 11th of September. We're in Jugist <laughs> right now. So, uh, what's wrong, Volk? Is it heat stroke? It is extreme heat stroke. Yeah, I guess we kind of got to get you a passive cooler too, huh? All right, Chocobo, what are you working on? Cooking four simple meals? Sorry. Going to have to have you stop that for a moment. And refill it. There we go. Get the temperature down at least a little bit. Um. Yeah, well, now the temperature actually is an issue. Before, it didn't really feel like it was one, but now it definitely is. Carl, how's your training going? You still haven't been trained to haul at all. <laughs> Good. Oh, God. Things are going well, guys. Oh, thank God. You're harvesting some food, dude. We honestly, like, really need that. So, please and thank you. L has collapsed. Where at? Oh. I mean, you're fine. <laughs> you're just tired. That's fine. You'll be okay. Ah, uh, dude, we got some smoke leaf finally. Chocobo, you know what I want you to do? Before you do that, bud. What do you mean need material? Didn't you just harvest a bunch? There we go, man. Make yourself some smoke leaf. <laughs> that should help out your mood a little bit. And uh, maybe some other people will partake every now and then. I'm going to change this just a little bit. These first two hours, I'm going to make everyone actually go to sleep. Because I think they're spending too much time during the day when they're allowed to go out and do whatever the hell they want, sleeping. I think that's part of the problem we might be having right now. Uh, 
Oh, hell yeah, dude. Just all the peas, please. It's nice. It seems like they do kind of, whenever they, they harvest something, they take it to whatever the closest thing is. So having all the little farms outside people's homes does seem to, to get them their own stuff at least. Oh, we found a wild goose egg. Cool. I was wondering where that other goose egg came from. I guess that answers that. Now you're stealing those ingredients that you put in there <laughs> to cook some food. A wild goose egg and what is that, potato? And now you're going on a food binge. We don't have food for you to binge on, dude. We are very food deprived. <laughs> oh, God. That's fine. What about you, Mr. Noodle? How you doing, dude? Cutting down some plants for us? Excellent. Oh, that's a lot of fire. Um, <laughs> maybe we should expand the home area to actually cover like all this fire. So that hopefully people will actually put it out out and not just leave it there. Oh good, you guys are going home now. Okay. Emergency. Nope. Put out the damn fire, please. <laughs> Thank you. If it wasn't so close to our buildings, I wouldn't have cared as much, but like, bruh. Chobo has collapsed due to extreme exhaustion. That's fine. You can take a nice nap outside then. Whatever. All right, go back to our regular policy. There you go, you smoke some smoke leaf. You're feeling a lot better now, I bet. You're tired, you're hungry. I mean, that's that's fine. Oh, Marina was their mom. The one that, that Noodle let die. <laughs> oh, that's, that's rough, dude. I'm sorry, Chocobo. I knew they were related to someone, but I wasn't sure who. Noodle's cleaning up some filth. You're spending all your time wardening instead of... Like, researching and stuff. Colony management, okay. And then what? You're gonna go to researching after that? We are in the work hours, I think. Why are you throwing up again? Do you have like, you're squeamish. Oh, that's why. Okay. I was wondering why you just randomly throw up sometimes. Because, again, you're not sick or anything. You just... Yeah. <laughs> okay, I think... Noodle... I think we're going to need to set your... Research priority a little bit higher. Yeah, it's set all the way down at five. But during your work hours, you're also wardening. Wait, what? What do you mean? You mean <laughs> Noodle being squeamish? Because right now you're doing like, during work hours, you'll be wardening. Managing. Then whatever other random thing. Let's get you to do some research before... I don't know. Doesn't really put you... Even putting on three doesn't really do much of anything. In real life or in game, both, honestly. <laughs> Guess we're going to have to manage first and then deal with the other stuff. We fed Silo a raw egg and now they're sick. I mean, yeah, that sounds legit.
A genetic supplier? I don't know how we're going to make use of that. Hmm. Okay, so you're getting some research. I really want to get that preserved meat thing figured out because that would be a good um, food supply for us, like especially in the cold months and things like that because it's preserved. And then we could up our hunting a little bit. Uh, try to. You just need more people. Once we get Noodle's house finished up, we're going to build a couple more just houses so that whenever one or two of these people get um, recruited, they'll have somewhere to move into right away. Oh, good. Some of these fields actually got planted. That's really nice. We needed that. Sucks that this one didn't. Why... What are you growing? Strawberries. Strawberries require a very uh, skilled grower. So that may be why that one's not growing. Oh my god. Silo is really sick, dude. <laughs> that room is disgusting. Well. We don't need to refuel these anymore. Alright, everyone's taking a nice nap. It seems like a little bit more is getting done now. I think that that forcing them to go to sleep bit is helping a little bit. Still curious what the best way to do this schedule is. At least one free hour. Yeah. I think we're going to go back to having that for a little bit. Like that. Which sadly does mean we have to redo this too. Wish there was a better way to do that. Oh, nope. Here. All the way to here. Okay, these things aren't important. We'll, we'll ignore that for now. Same with that stuff. Just the important stuff. So we got to reset the, the time stuff on it. Okay, nuclear's not important for that right now. Neither is art, tailor. Well, tailoring will be once Noodle gets their tailor station set up. That was in a daze. Surprise, surprise, right? We have that on. Oh, that's fine. We'll leave that. Growing. Constructing. I mean, I don't see people really having hunt as that high of a priority on their own property, I mean, but sure. And the rest of it should be fun. Yeah, so you should have all the important stuff set at least for that last little hour. Got some visitors. Why are you guys chilling over there in Tom's house? I mean, it's a perfectly fine place to <laughs> to relax, I guess, but... Oh, Tom, with your level one skill in cooking now. Is that a sniper rifle? Well, a hunting rifle, okay. Um, So I think... Well, Chocobo has the shotgun, though. I think Mr. Noodle's our next best shot. You got the bolt action rifle? Then L has 2.4. Oh, Tom's actually a really good shot. I guess, technically, I probably should have given that to Tom, but oh well. Create some infighting. I mean, I can force people to literally attack other colonists, but, like, <laughs> I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna try and make them kill each other. <laughs> okay. I am going to change this to Tom's house 
because I'm pretty sure Tom's the animal handler, right? Yeah. That way maybe we'll get a little bit more of that done. Some more roaming monstrosity. Oh, a cat a rabbit? Oh wait, is it two? And a rodent paragon legendary. Oh. Okay. I mean, that should be fine. It's just a couple rodents after all. Uh, excuse me. Oh, L is in a daze right now. Okay. Where are you going? Excuse me. I would appreciate it if you... Oh, are you guys going after the visitors? I think they're going after the visitors. Don't do that. <laughs> uh, excuse me. Chocobo, move up a little bit closer with your with your shotgun. Can somebody just hit the damn rabbit? Oh my god. Okay. You guys over here, Chocobo. Oh my god. <laughs> Our visitors are being murdered by the monstrosity. Okay. Well. Why is that one not... Okay, now it's coming after us. Uh, okay, shoot at that. Can't shoot in melee? Well, then stop being in melee, you dumbass. Chocobo. Get down here. There we go. Finish off. Finish off the Rodent Paragon. And then... Okay, and the Rabbit died too. That actually went pretty well, other than the fact that, you know, our <laughs> our buddy here got a little messed up. Uh, we have some medical beds. I guess we should probably try and take care of them. It'd be nice if L would do anything, but rescue. Oh, you need a regular bed? Okay. How about now? Oh, never mind. They're dead. Uh, well, <laughs> hey, at least on the bright side, we got another shotgun. <laughs> so, oh, God, L, just wait. What are you doing? You damaged another chair. Why do you keep damaging chairs with your terrible posture? Where are you? Still just wondering. Can you snap out of it, please? Who has an infection? Takeo? Who's Takeo? It's not one of our people. Oh, you? You were one of the people that came here. Well, I mean, thanks for the gun. Sorry about you dying and all that. But, <laughs> Eden, we're not in that bad of a situation yet. We're not in such a bad situation that we're going to start eating people. But it may get there eventually. I mean, it's possible. Did you have... You were just carrying around some fine cocktails with you? And energy drinks? <laughs> okay, then. You can't afford to claim a bed. Chocobo. Build the free beds. Oh, these guests are going to hate their stay here. I didn't even think of that. How long are you going to wander for, dude? You're dehydrated. Now, Noodle, thank you so much for the five bits. Love, appreciate that. So we get the free beds built, then at least they'll have... What? No, build this one. I don't care about that one, dude. <laughs> Not right now. He's the lone wanderer. <laughs> okay, this should be four guests. But it's going to cost, like, 50. Tom, this is not your bed. <laughs> 10... Four guests free. Chocobo. 
work on that one now. Um... Vet owner on a sign. Why do they keep getting a sign to to other beds? Maybe because this one was like in danger or something like that. But no, it's definitely Tom's bed. All the other beds are fine, right? L. Like I get paranoid every time this happens. L is still just wandering around. Colonist needs treatment? Probably Tom. <laughs> I would imagine. Elle's gonna need treatment if they don't freaking snap out of it soon, dude. Let's fast forward a little bit. Oh, no, Noodle! Your house! <laughs> uh... <laughs> Your house is on fire, dude. Got, got directly hit by lightning. Okay, hold open. Chocobo. Get that door open real quick. So that you don't freaking die from the temperature. It's 280 degrees in here. Um. Oh, God. Okay. Tom, I need you to draft. Come in here. And then... We're going to say, hold open, hold open. I just expanded. You did just expand. Your your tailoring bench was just built, actually. <laughs> okay. The temperature should start going down in here now. Quite quickly. Undraft. Fight these fires, dude. At least the, the building itself is still okay. Holy shit, it's 400 degrees in there. All right. Um... Don't hold open anymore. Hey, at least, <laughs> if only that had happened in the winter, your uh, wife wouldn't be dead right now. All right, you got some slight burns, I'm guessing. Yeah, and some some minor heat stroke. Not that bad. Uh, a shitty hatchet. I mean, we'll take it, of course, but I'm not going to worry that much about it. How are you guys doing? Are you about to break by any chance? Resistance 6. 13.4. 6.4. They're getting there. Scrooge has a medical emergency? What's wrong with you? Malnutrition extreme. Yeah, we are kind of out of food. That's legit, honestly. Wife and child. Yeah, 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 that's right, actually. I forgot about that. Child, too. Expected quality, 23%. I mean... Oh, did Elf finally snap out of their days? They did, okay. Um, where did that gun go that we wanted to give you? Did it get taken inside? It's probably still out here somewhere, slowly deteriorating. Not that one. Where's the other dead body at? <laughs> there it is. Quit pump shotgun. How you doing, Chocobo? You're okay. A little burn up, but you're okay. Starve upon to death? No! <laughs> oh, shit, dude. Well. I can't even click on him. Why can't I click on him? Oh, well. He's dead. Uh, did Silo just eat? Yep. I guess that's why we couldn't click on him. <laughs> they were busy eating him. <laughs> <laughs> oh god well uh i mean hey things happen sometimes you know 
At least the prisoners aren't going to go hungry now. They have they have food to eat. Chocobo's gotten sick from the infection. Yeah. Go go get some rest, dude. <laughs> oh my god. I feel like Chocobo goes through a lot. Chocobo does go through a lot. Everyone here goes through a lot, man. It's life on the rim worlds. I think it's clear this style of thing doesn't work without a lot of planning. And I obviously did not do a lot of planning. <laughs> I think it's going to have to be like... Oh, yeah, I really don't know a good way to make this work. It's so inefficient. It's less the, like, having their own houses, I think, and more trying to have them have, like, their own jobs and time of day that they do things and stuff like that. But, like, I wanted them to, to take care of the fields outside their own house, because that makes sense. But I guess what we could do is we could roleplay that they're, like, just, um, we're going to keep trying with this one until, until things, like, go get completely destroyed or whatever. Um, but... I guess what we could do is, like, do this like, same sort of style of thing, but then roleplay that... Oh, God. Everything's going to burn to the ground now. There's so many fires. That you're, like, hiring a gardener to, to take care of your, your crops for you and stuff or something like that, you know? Immunity's 39%. And your infection's 34. Okay. So you should be fine, Chocobo. Your, your immunity is going quicker than your, whatchamacallit. Both of these guys are in a daze now. Um, okay, this is obviously emergency time. Fight the fires, please, before another building catches on fire. Oh, God. It's already happening. Um, oh, no, our medicine, dude. Uh, okay, I can't, apparently. Oh, uh, no, the medicine, dude! Oh, my God. We spent... <laughs> uh, and our prisoners are all gonna die now, too. Our whole hospital, man. Hold open. Uh, no, hold open. Hold open. All of our medicine's gone now. Oh no. Everyone has burns. Mr. Noodle, get out of there, dude, before you die. Okay, we can't hold that one open anymore. I mean, it's only... Wait. Why is the temperature going up in there? Who's the least damage right now? L, why are you sleeping, dude? With all the shit going on right now and you're sleeping? Okay. That is surprisingly taking down the temperature quick. That one little passive cooler is doing some work. Like... Yeah, take a nap in the room that's 100-some degrees. Like... <laughs> I'm, sh I'm sure that's good for you. How bad are you guys off? Uh, you're gonna be fine. A little bit of heat stroke, but it's minor. You're getting better. No healthy people, L. L is the only healthy person right now. We keep having fires, and those fires keep spreading to buildings because, you know, wood is pretty flammable, surprisingly. Silo has an infection. I don't care about Silo. Tom's hiding in his room. It's fine. Everything's fine. <laughs> Oh, God. I think this colony's screwed. I'm not going to lie. After this one, the next one that we're going to do um, is probably the the group of wanderers. Just because, again, I'm just curious to try different play styles. And then we're going to give up and play a normal one, I think. <laughs> one that we can maybe, maybe actually get a colony going in. I mean, who knows, though? This one could end up going a little bit better. I think if we just had a couple more people to help deal with stuff. Or maybe... 
Maybe instead of starting solo tech, we like crash land with some robots or something to help us out if we do this one again. I think maybe something like that could could work as well. Okay. Dehydration trivial, some some small burns. You got some burns. Chocobo has <laughs> been drinking some alcohol, I see. Uh drank ambrandy based cocktail. Okay. Apparently that really helps your mental break threshold though. And then oh you already developed immunity though to your infection. That's good. So you should be you should be okay. Everyone should be fine. Eventually. Just gotta just gotta take a little bit of time to get them there. That's all. Lord almighty guys. Uh, we still have everyone on emergency mode, which honestly is probably good. We should probably just leave it like that for a little bit. Who is starving? Tom, because you're hiding in your room. Oh, no, wait. You're in the hospital. Why is nobody giving you food? Is it because we don't have any food? Oh, God, we're completely out of food. Mr. Noodle has a sad wanderer going on. Well, remember what I said about this colony maybe prospering? Yeah, I don't think it's going to happen, guys. For some reason, we have no food at all. Okay. Orders? Um. Excuse me, I'm blind. Harvest. If something can be harvested, freaking harvest it, man. You guys have plant cutting set to a two. You all have growing set to a two. Like, you guys are being told to do these things. Freaking do it, man. <laughs> Please. Holy hell. You wouldn't have this problem if you ate people? Our prisoners actually were eating people. Uh, you might have missed it, but... Ate raw food. Malnourished. Ate raw food. Cathar well, the, uh, the, un the, the bad effect must have already wore out, but the other prisoner that we had in here died. And uh, they were starving, so they just started eating the body that was in there. Started with his head and then worked their way down. <laughs> oh, right there. Right there is his, uh, right there is his dead body. You can see that the, the head is missing. Yeah. Scrooge perished. So... <laughs> there, there is some people eating going on. <laughs> Don't you worry. I think the only... Oh, man. I think we are going to have to change the rules a little bit. As much as I liked the, the idea of everyone having their, their home time and stuff like that, I think we're going to have to let anyone do growing and anyone do cooking, etc. We're still going to gonna have people with their own stuff in their own homes, and they'll be the only ones allowed to use the stuff in their homes and shit like that, I think. But, like, animal transport pod. Oh, shit. You. Aw, the puppy. Um, Chocobo, you look like you're doing pretty well. Rescue. Yeah, rescue the puppy, please. And a caravan animal wandered in. The game suddenly is uh, taking pity on us. Um. Hmm. Alice starving? Eat some food, you dumbass. Silo has died from an infection. Well, more food for Volk. Salamander? Who the hell are you? L is now in a daze. Excellent. Love that. Where's the puppy? There it is. Yeah, treat the puppy. Poor thing. It's not getting the best care in the world, but at least it's being... Did it just die? Ah, oh, fuck. <laughs> Nothing. Nothing can go right, man. Everything has to go wrong all the time. I was looking forward to having a new little puppy. I mean, sure, they eat more food, and we don't exactly have food right now. But still... Well... 
I, uh, <laughs> I don't know, man. I think this colony might be screwed. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> Mr. Noodle's doing some hunting. Anything and everyone that's not a part of your colony. The problem is, unless that's part of your religion cult or whatever like that, because you can make them do that. But if it's not something that, that your pawns agree with, it causes them to have extremely bad moods, which will make things so much worse, honestly, than just being hungry. Because uh, they'll start getting major debuffs and like everyone in the colony will start getting debuffs whenever you butcher people for food and things like that. So it's really just not worth it unless, uh, you know, unless everyone's literally starving to death. And we have food. It's just not being cooked right now is the problem. But yeah, I think what we're going to have to do next time is pivot from like stop having people stay in their homes and then just just rely on the work scheduling to kind of... Uh, get people into their workplaces and things like that sadly some of their home things probably won't be used very much but yeah i don't know this is just it's it's too much i think for rimworld because this is 100 percent not how rimworld was meant to be played i just thought it'd be an interesting experiment same with the the next run that i want to do like i mentioned the uh everyone wandering run the, the the nomads essentially i think that'll be a fun experiment too because again not necessarily the way the game's meant to be played you can but it's not really built for it noodle i don't know if you really have the oh i was gonna say i don't know if you really have the shoot skill for that but you you got it oh good we're getting raided a group of subjects from god of kingdom have arrived they're attacking immediately good good well <laughs> Not meant to be played. Uh, I mean, there's a quote-unquote, like, correct way to play RimWorld, right? Obviously, it's a game. You can play it however the hell you want. But if you want things to go well, <laughs> there's a way that you really want to play it, right? You you want one centralized base. Instead of, like, everyone having their own houses with full of amenities, you, you would probably want, like, barracks with shared amenities or small little, like, family things or something like that. And you normally wouldn't have, like, cookers in every single house. You would just have, like, one person that spends all day, every day, doing nothing but cooking, making meals to make sure everyone has it. You would have one person doing nothing but growing all day, every day. Uh, one person doing nothing but, but, um, I'm forgetting all the other things in the game. But you, you get what I mean, I'm sure. Uh, you just, you kind of have people dedicated to one thing, and that's all they do. They, they sleep, they eat, they do a little bit of fun. And they do that, and that's it. The way we have it right now is I'm kind of trying to mimic, you know, normal lives like what we live. You know, you you go home at night, you spend a few hours at home when you're not sleeping, uh, taking care of your house, maybe growing your own crops and things like that, cooking your own food, and then you go to work, and then you have your free time, etc. I'm trying to kind of mimic something like that, and it's just not how the game's meant to be played. You can! But man, does it make it so much harder. We are, what, a year and a half in into the game time, which isn't super long for Rim RimWorld or anything like that, but we've kind of stagnated, right? Like, it's becoming really hard to make any more progress, not to mention the fact that here in a few more uh, days... I forget exactly how many days are in a month, but here soon we're going to be starting to enter the cold months, and we don't have that much food, right? Like, we have some, but we don't have a ton. And that's also going to present a problem. So it's just like, oh boy. You do a militaristic run? Well, see, and that's the problem. That's what I was trying to get away from. Is because that's what every other RimWorld run that I've done has been like, essentially. Um, is militaristic. Because that's kind of the quote-unquote correct way, right? Like, that's part of it. You, you have your little colony and the reason why you have your little colony the way you do uh, all kind of centralized is because then you can build defenses around it and whenever you have defenses around it like so all of this would be condensed down to like this little area right here basically in a quote-unquote proper run and then you would have walls all the way around your your uh your 
colony with little kill boxes full of like turrets and sandbags for you to shoot people that invade and things like that to protect yourself. And then you would just slowly kind of spread out as things go on. Um, and then every one soldier, anyone not a part of your group dies. I mean, you can do that, um, but that would also make it really hard to, to progress. You have to make friends in the game unless you download mods because there's only so much steel on the uh on the map right that that you spawn into um and you need steel to make new guns and things because your guns and whatnot will break over time naturally uh now technically you do get some guns from the people that come in and once you kill them obviously um and some steel and stuff from there but it's just you're gonna want to keep some friends i guess you might be able to do it if you relied entirely on passing spaceships because you can trade with those too actually um they just don't arrive as often as people do and there's no way in base game to to make enemies with them the people that fly by so i guess you could try and get some steel from them but you would really be i think <laughs> literally murdering everybody i think would be another really hard way to play but uh normally i do do militaristic the run where we, uh, the, the Nomad run is going to be slightly militaristic, um, because one of the things you can do, I'm going to go ahead and save here because we're, we're actually done for the day anyways, but, Roulites stream three, um, but one of the things with the Nomad run is, like I mentioned earlier, you have this world map, right? So I'm not sure where we're located exactly on the map. Is this us right here? No, um, I don't remember where we're at but anyways let's pretend this is us right here right so like with the nomadic one like we will explore the world a little bit and set up little you know camps to to grow some food and things like that but then we'll come across this colony over here eventually like we'll make our way up the road we'll get there and then we'll i mean we'll raid them <laughs> essentially right we'll go in we'll we'll steal some stuff maybe try and get some more people and uh and then continue <laughs> continue on you know then we'll we'll come back down the road and then we'll go see what this monument's all about and then we'll come over here and then these guys are also hostile the dentist city whatever uh <laughs> i guess since they're hostile to us we're gonna have to take them on too etc we're not gonna literally murder everyone but we will be a little militaristic and basically a a, a nomadic group without a focus per purely on on raiding but uh we're definitely gonna do some raiding let's be honest you're seeing a review and it says it's a waste of time because after six hours everyone dead <laughs> i mean that depends on how you play it right there are some people that have games that have gone on for hundreds of hours hundreds and hundreds of hours there are some truly amazing bases out there man just with everything super high tech because like there's this whole research tree that you can go up to um we haven't got to do much on the research because again the way we're playing right now um but like there's there's all this high-end stuff that you can unlock you know cryo sleep bionic replacement parts for people pulse charged munitions for for your uh for your guns and stuff like that spaceships obviously um all artificial metabolism like you can make superhumans and shit like that uh spaceships to to uh, escape the planet ultra tech laser weapons siege breaker armor like there's there's a bunch of really cool stuff that you can that you can unlock but it just takes time is all get a life <laughs> i don't know man i think uh if you enjoy something enjoy it you know i the way i feel like it's the same with like call of duty and stuff like that too people that spend hundreds and hundreds of hours playing stuff like that if it's something you enjoy why not man it's your life spend your time enjoying it but uh yeah the the next run after all these people die which hopefully isn't too soon but whenever they do will be more militaristic uh but anyways that's all i got time for tonight guys it is getting late not only for me but for basically everyone else as well so i will see you next time have a good night and as always be kind to each other Bye bye Y'all, there's Wendy's...